Back here at home, summer break is over for Leander ISD students. They're wrapping up their first day of school. KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke to the district superintendent on what's changed this school year. Early Wednesday morning, kids filed into Cypress Elementary. It's just one of 44 Leander ISD campuses doing so this week as the district goes back to school. We have hired a lot of staff this summer. Unlike other districts facing teacher shortages, Superintendent Bruce Gearing says he's not too worried. HR and principals closed the gap of 230 open jobs it had back in July down to double digits. We have about 80 teaching positions left, which sounds like a lot. But when you put that in the context of we have over 2,300 teachers in the district, um, then uh, that number is not unreasonable for this time of the year. He says the district continues to search for qualified teachers to fill its vacancies. Another matter the district is watching, student safety. We work very closely with the agencies in our community to collaborate and make sure that we are prepared. One measure that's new this year is Smart Tag. Gearing says it's a way parents can track their student while they're on any Leander ISD school bus. This has an app that goes with it that will allow our parents to track where their children are um, and to know and understand when they got on the bus and when they got off the bus. Um, and when to expect uh, the bus to arrive at particular stops. Wednesday is just the first of many to come this school year. The superintendent says he's just happy to get the year off the ground. We are thrilled to see all of our students back in person. Um, this has been a really challenging last three years for us. In Cedar Park, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. Well, you just heard him talk about the challenges. Superintendent Gearing says a next major step for the district is taking place tomorrow and then final approval will come hopefully in November.